This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello, hey, welcome everyone, back. Welcome My to name Hack is Gary Pitchin. This is your weekly. This is Tech Malice. That's Shannon <laughs> Morris. I'm the other one. <laughs> I'm she Shannon might Morris. have had some sugar. Hey everybody, welcome to Hack Five. This hey, is hey, hey, hey. Tech Malice. We're having a big what? Calm sorry. Down. It's cool. It's I'm cool. Sorry. We're really, really excited. Yeah. I don't know if you guys saw the announcement last week about the thing, but this Saturday, like the twelfth. So if you're watching this before the twelfth, it's about to happen. If you're watching it after the twelfth, you already know. But uh, oh my gosh, yes. If you're in the San Francisco Bay or you can get there somehow, get there. Cause... Everyone can get there by yes. plane. There's hey, there's free beer. Really? Yes. I like free beer. We should beer. probably explain what we're talking about. Uh, there's a new pineapple, as you guys know. Um, and so Woo! come on out to the Baltic at 135 Park Place in Richmond, California, the cute little point Richmond free area. Free parking in the back. Totally. And uh, we're going to have it to open for all free ages. Free beer inside. Free beer only for the people 21 and over, obviously. Yeah. They check IDs. Yeah. Uh, so if you're underage, you'll have to pay. Uh, you'll have to not drink. I'm going to sing. That's a right. Song. And Dale Chase is going to be there. We're uh, going to have karaoke. Singing with you as well as uh, dual core. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be no karaoke. That's going to keep you full away. And anyway, it's su I'm super excited about this. Because I am we, too. We've been working on this particular thing for a very long time, and finally we can talk about it, and finally we can bring all of this to fruition, and then everybody can come out and get one of these, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Yay! So come and do that. What's uh, that? This I Saturday. want one of these. Yes, it's yours. There you go. Boom. You have been pineapple patched. I have been patched. There you go. <laughs> I, I was patched. Hey, we've got a great show. It's a little bit of a shorter show, obviously, because we're all kind of like crazy trying to make this awesome event happen. Uh, but uh, we're talking about file synchronization and a little uh, sniffy sniffy tunnely action for some uh, some cookie, not even cookie, it's just like session hijacking. I love cookies. In the most ridiculous way. What kind of cookies? Well, okay, so you know how you've talked about Fire Sheep in the past? Yes. Well, imagine being able to do that, but not just for web cookies, but basically any authentication token uh, and do a hijacking attack. And here's the beautiful thing. Typically, when we talk about these, we talk about like doing a man in the middle attack where we bring the client to us and mm -hmm. then we sniff the thing and then we go out pretending to be them. Yeah. Um, Mudge, uh, I talked to Mudge uh, from, you know, Armitage and yeah. from Cobalt Strike over at DerbyCon and he showed me uh, uh, off his awesome, huh? Don't give it away! Anyway, yes, it tunnels the other way. It's good. It's a really, really cool thing. Yes. Oh, guess what? Yeah. I went to a run fest and I sang a song with Dale this weekend and it was really fun. Cool. That has nothing to do with my segment is this, at is all. There a video for but this? it's a total tangent. Oh, okay. There might be video. Is there is there photos of you in a Hermione costume? Um no. There might be. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> well then stay tuned for that. As well as uh, you're talking to um Yes Andrew. I'm talking to my buddy Andrew. He's from uh, Code 42, those guys that made Crash Plan. Right. Which is so, so nice for backing up everything in case you have earthquakes like we do out here, which hopefully doesn't happen anytime soon. Mm -hmm. But in case it does, all your stuff gets backed up. Well they made this new thing called SharePlan and it basically lets you sync stuff. Okay. So I'm not, uh, just to be clear, this isn't a sponsored segment or anything no, like that, not. but they are friends of ours because they do the crash plan stuff and they just announced the new stuff. And in talking to them, it sounds like they are really targeting the enterprise. Yeah. And I must say, based on some of the things, I was so much of a fan of uh, crash plan and I'm kind of less of a fan of share plan now because <gasps> it doesn't support Blowfish. <laughs> And it's not it's not using the open source goodness and it's well their API is open and the encryption you can't BYO and I understand when you've got to play with the government and those are your, your customers and they want you to register with and you know and use NIST frameworks and stuff for encryption but you know however if you are looking for like a syncing and sharing plan and you I don't guess, necessarily like trust Dropbox for your enterprise sure then it must be no worse than it's, Dropbox <laughs> it's another option that you have sure yeah that's one way to put it. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, uh, and you know, with that, you always know, just rely on your own stuff anyway mm -hmm. and put it on top. Layer it all. Hell yeah. Incredible. All right. We're going to have some cake, but when we get back. We have cake. More awesome stuff. Yeah. It's cake. All, all right. right. Be right back. Cheers. Dude, right. Raphael, what's up, man? What's up, dude? It's so good to see you. What is new? Oh, dude, I make gang signs every time I see you. No, so <laughs> I'm working on something really cool called browser pivoting. Okay. And what browser pivoting is, well, take, uh, turn your attention here. Yes, yes. A browser pivot, it's a proxy server that inject into a target's browser, okay? And this proxy server fulfills requests using the browser's communication API called WinINet. 
And every request I push through this uh, proxy server comes out authenticated as the user. Think of it as a post-exploitation fire sheep for everything. Like and, everything being what, like web dev? Oh, like, uh, S, okay, so cookies, um, I get cookies, I get an HTTP authentication, client SSL certs. So you can go to like Facebook, Yahoo Mail, some sort of Outlook internal thing, uh, SharePoint, whatever you want. You can go to any website that the user logged into. Nice. And what you're seeing here, like in this uh, video, is the user's being prompted, we're watching their desktop, to log into Yahoo Mail. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. They're putting in their pin, they're in Yahoo Mail. I come up to uh, my browser, which is going through theirs, Oh I'm my gosh, Yahoo Mail so you them. just type in, yeah, yeah you type in email because, so it did like the, the, the cookie hijacking for you. It did and everything hijacking. All of the hijacking. Yes. So how is it that you're able to, to set this proxy up on, on the, uh, the victim machine here? Okay, so the assumption of this tool is that I, the attacker, am on the box. So I've compromised them somehow, and this is a risk demonstration tool, a way to uh, show what's possible when an attacker lands on a place. Because a lot of people say, I have two-factor authentication, I'm safe. Yeah. Okay. The attacker can't get there, but this is not true. If an attacker is on an endpoint on a system, you have to assume they can do anything the user can, totally. and this just proves it, even in the face of two-factor authentication. I love that. So, here, are you actually tr pro proxying their traffic through another server, or oh, are no. you just doing it locally? I'm not changing anything in their browser. I, the attacker, am proxying through them. I'm proxying through their browser. This is an wait, wait, application wait, wait, wait. level pivot. Wait wait, 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 wait. You're not making them come to you and then you go out. Ooh. You're going through them. Yes, it looks like they did it. <laughs> so it's like a reverse. Oh my gosh, you're right. It, it's it an application like level it. pivot. Wow, the forensics on that is wicked because Dude. it's coming from them. It's even uglier than that. Yeah. The forensic evidence left on disk sure. is their browser did it. Oh, the cookies dude. are updated, the history is updated. Okay, how do I get my hands on this? How do I use it? Is this built into Cobalt Strike? It's built into Cobalt Strike, yes. Oh, Just man. dropped two days ago. <laughs> dude, I'm, you're always coming up with the most wicked stuff. Okay, where can people that have been living under a rock find out about Cobalt Strike? Because okay. this is, cause like, walk me through the whole, like, the, the community edition and Cobalt Strike and, and how oh, the interfaces sure. with the good stuff. So, Cobalt Strike. Cobalt Strike is a set of red teaming tools for threat emulation built on top of Armitage. Armitage is like the free thing. Um, you can get that at fasteasyhacking.com. But if you want browser pivoting, go to www.advancedpentest.com. Just get a trial. It's a 21-day trial. It includes everything. Nice. Dude, I am so stoked about this. Congratulations. Thank that you, sounds man. like a wicked tool. I can't wait to start playing with that. Cheers, man. Fun. <laughs> Dave, what's new, bro? Hey, what's going on, man? We're uh, here at DerbyCon 3.0, and it's uh, so far it's been going good. It's still Saturday, but I mean, it's been an awesome con so far. A lot of great talks. What's new this year? You know, this year uh, we had two parties. So Friday night we had a party with Dualcore who rocked the house, and uh, tonight we have the Crystal Method, which we're really looking forward to. Uh, but really, I think this year has been one of the best, uh, personally, for me. Uh, the talks themselves have just been absolutely outstanding. We had 127 speakers, and uh, it just went really, really well. In fact, uh, 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 John Popia gave a talk. Um, uh, was it John Popia or Jeff Popia? I uh, escaped a second there. Jeff Popia uh, gave a talk um, uh, just a few minutes ago on the, on the stable talks around basically breaking into almost any safe you can possibly imagine. And it was so simple. In fact, the safe that he had on there was the one that I used for my gun safe in my house. Uh, so you watch on stage and open it up and everything. But uh, there's been a lot of cool stuff on hacking airplanes, um, you know, uh, basically getting encryption keys off of uh, Android devices, and just a lot of awesome quality talks this year that is probably better than what we've had any other year combined. And not to discredit any of the other talks we've had prior, it's, it's always been good but uh, you know this year has been just an amazing uh, experience altogether and a great family feel. Nice well I love that you guys are uh, really fostering that here uh, at DerbyCon so uh, what's new with uh, you and your projects? Well, I'm working on uh, the Social Engineer Toolkit, obviously, so uh, we just did a major release recently, but I'm actually working on a project right now, and I actually haven't announced it, so this, I'll be the first to talk about it here. So, um, basically, um, you know, as a pen tester, I find that I'm needing more and more customized uh, distributions and frameworks. Uh, so I've actually built an entire framework around building your own pen test platform uh, that can be used on Ubuntu, Debian, um, Fedora, everything else, and it's all modular based. And so basically, you can start to deploy um, your entire pen testing uh, framework, pen testing tools, everything uh, automatically built for you in your own uh, distribution. And it keeps them up to date all, all the time, real time. So it makes so it's it, a framework builder. It's a framework builder. So uh, basically, what's on it is like, and you don't even have to know how to code. 
uh, to add different tools or different uh, modules into it. Is it like when you would install like an Ubuntu server and you check the boxes like, oh, I want LAMP and oh, I want send mail and oh, I... Wait for your hacker tools. Nice. And it's all, it's all basically Metasploit syntax, so it looks just like Metasploit inside and out, um, just to keep the familiarity with the, with the tool set. So you do show modules and it shows all your modules there. It's got all your tools listed there and um, it'll automatically keep it up to date. You can add new modules in and it's literally it's only like six or seven different um, uh, things that you have to build in order to build a module. It's super simple and makes it easy for us as pen testers to be able to build it. So that's brilliant that it keeps it all up to date. What is it? You've got your own repos and stuff running? It actually hooks into the repos that we develop the tools for. So we'll actually continuously monitor the tools that are coming out, whether it's Git or Debian repositories or whatever, and it'll automatically go and pull those uh, based on deviants and changes, based on, on database um, checks and things like that we put for, for checksum. So it works out really well. It's really scalable. It's super fast. Uh, allows you to deploy a system really quick. and. Uh, you know, for, for me personally, when I'm doing pen tests, you know, I love Backtrack, I love Kali, it's an amazing framework and I'd always continue to use it. Uh, but, I, you know, if I want to get my own flavor, my own things, my own tools, especially working, you know, inside with my own custom frameworks and tools, um, it works out so well and makes things a lot easier and it's going to be really community driven. So. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Nice yeah. little corporate wallpaper and everything. Exactly. It's all customized. It. Yeah, I love customized it. Customized to yours, yeah. Cool, man. Well, Dave, I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having us out here. Hey, it's a pleasure. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Cheers. Yeah. Budding entrepreneurs, startups, and innovators are all turning their ideas into realities backed by the strength of a .NET domain. And you guys know .NETs are globally known. They're one of the most popular domain extensions online. They inject your business with instant credibility, and you can immediately discover the benefits of building your presence around a .NET domain. See, if you already have a .com, well, then you can get the corresponding .NET and protect your brand. You know, if the .com you want is already taken, well, the .NET is a perfect alternative. And if you'd like one, you can get them the same place Shannon and I do over at domain.com. We love shopping with them. They're so easy to use, reliable, affordable. You can tweet them at domain.com. It makes it really fun to do business with them. They're only $8.99 a year for .NETs, but get this, they get even better because the guys over at domain.com are huge fans of ours and they want to hook you up with 15% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting. All you have to do is use the coupon code HAK5 at domain.com's checkout. That's 15% and big savings, so don't forget to use the coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Last week's trivia question was, two features that a fingerprint scanner looks for in authentication are what? And the answer was patterns and minutia features. Now this week's trivia question is, the Advanced Encryption Standard, aka AES, candidate RC6 was based on RC5. What does RC stand for? You can answer that over at hack5.org trivia for your chance to win some awesome Hack 5 goodies.